Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today's video we're doing day two of farming the Mitosis Hunter Seeker in Borderlands 3. The Hunter Seeker is a grenade that when you toss it, will go out and track down enemies while shooting at them. This works really well with flat because it gets us our action skill cooldown faster and it gives us more crits overall, which gives us ammo back and gives us all kinds of bonuses. So we're here farming the mother of Grogan's today. Right, weapon, let's do this. Fade away, do not let me down. Let's get a clean first kill. Mother of Grogan's. Toss my nade. Fade away me. Swap sides. Okay, I think that's all we have to do. We don't need to actually kill the center boss. As long as all the other dragons go down. Very nice. And we can go on. That puts us going to put us at 34 runs. Very nice. So I, I was thinking about slapping back on the Schluter. I do have the Jacob's Company, man. I brought it over from my Moe's. So I do feel bad about doing that. But at the same time, like I grinded my Moe's so much. I kind of do want to be rewarded for, you know, getting one of everything, basically. All right, let's do this again. I'll go one more Company, man. And then I can swap back over to Schluter. we go all the dragons should be gone a dead eye we also are looking for dead eye class mods that would be good and that looks pretty good weapon damage and i have a choice of either doll or vladoff to both yeah that's pretty nice all right let's go again i have another farm that's going to be coming out which is going to be the farming for the lucky seven slash the lucky seven slash stack bot class mod because i have there's another flat class mod that's in dlc one that it's called the stack bot and it gives you so much damage i was farming them before i have two stack bots one with weapon damage and one with smg damage and weapon fire rate which is nice too this would be nice for like a chaos and flak or something like that but the stack bot does so much damage, so I can farm it at the scrap trap, and I can also farm the lucky seven pistol, which I'm but I'm whipping up something for, which is pretty cool. Alright, spawn in. No spawn in. Here we go. Let's see if I can still get this. Okay, I think we did an okay job there, honestly. Yeah, because we have this this Rowan's call is act, uh, on action skill and to get bonus weapon damage. So we actually cleanse that pretty quick. Pretty quick. What you got? Mitosis! <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, it's not elemental. Which is sad, but honestly, here's my thing. It's not going to be... Th as far as our odds for the 111, this was in there. So the odds of the Mitosis Hunter Seeker was 1 in 111. The odds of it getting um, one of the two elements that we wanted, which was cryo and radiation, was one in 333. But I am 100% down to grab this Mitosis Hunter Seeker, show you guys what it can do for a little bit, and then uh, wrap it up. Like this, this might be a little bit shorter video, but there's my Mitosis Hunter Seeker. So how much we have? 2,000 of radium. We can try to re-roll it a little bit, see if we can get a, see if we can get a better one. Because right now, while action skills active, grenade damage is increased by 150%. You know what? Let's go use that one for a little bit while we're in our fadeaway. We're going to go find an enemy to go test it out on. I actually go to Pandora. Let's go to the Droughts. Yeah, let's go to the Droughts Highway. Find some skags to go shoot at. So, again, to show the full power of the Mitosis Hunter Seeker, we have to... We have to do a little bit of testing here so the first thing first thing is we have an enemy to shoot at let's just clear this guy out maybe real quick oh i'm trying to clockwork resum he's gone okay to show the full power of this we got a skag to shoot at over here i want my pet to chill out though it's my only thing so i'm gonna take i'm gonna downgrade my pet a little bit to just a basic skag okay so how this works is whenever i crit on flak i get a couple i get two different things primarily whenever i score a crit there's a, ch a chance for one ammo to be added to my magazine okay and whenever i score a crit i can i get action school cooldown it's very nice this cooldown time minus two seconds i'm sorry the cool the action skill yes so yeah you actually get so much cooldown from this um yeah i think i do believe you have other on hits as well 
any of these hunter kill skills when you're rocking the bounty hunter give you on hits so basically you want to be on hitting things as much as possible so i'll show you if we drain our fade away all the way here right and you start watching this cooldown okay it's not going to go up that that fast i do have topped off but when my shield breaks it goes even slower and i'm pretty vulnerable for this entire duration just how long we're waiting now wait the entire time as my pet tries to kill things on mayhem 11 doing a decent job and okay, now it's finally coming back up if i go ahead and use my action skill okay and i will disable bar for this so so i don't get any extra cooldown reduction from anywhere else and i toss one mitosis hunter seeker find something to shoot at guys i'm trying to show that i'm trying to show the people something Okay, you can see my action skill on the on the right jumping up a little bit. One more of my Tosis Hunter Seeker to show. Look at my action skill coming back up faster. Look at that. It's already at three quarters, is jumping up a whole bunch. A third one. Okay, it's coming back up now. Just to show you one more I'm gonna do one more test with and without. Let's go get some more enemies. Because the Mitosis Hunter Seeker is is primarily a mobbing weapon. So my action skill is on full cooldown. I can throw some Mitosis Hunter Seekers out. And no matter what primary gun I'm using, the Mitosis Hunter Seeker, because they can crit, because I have Megavore, which gives everything a chance to crit, then I can get my action skill back much, much faster without needing to, to wait. Just because of what grenade I'm using, which is incredible. Not to mention... That there is extra synergy by the way let's use our recursion to get the recursion is also very good at getting back your action skill like as flak you do have multiple different ways to get back your action skill like multiple projectile weapons but sometimes you don't want to rock multiple projectiles sometimes you want to rock uh for instance a rowan's call one projectile you know what i'm saying hey, what did you drop me bearcat okay interesting all right let's find some more skags and i will show you that the hunter seeker we're going to test out its actual straight up damage against some of these enemies i'm kind of happy mine's non-elemental because i don't like screen clutter and i kind of like my flak to be a little bit less screen clutter all right so we go how about up against some racks so maybe i fight some racks and my hunter seeker can go out and and shoot them down see that rack is getting that rack is getting hit up pretty hard go get them hunter seekers Look at that. They're really good at killing racks, looks like. And racks can be super annoying. And if I'm in fadeaway, if I'm in fadeaway, they always crit. Hey, I need my action skill back to get rid of this outrunner. Quick, hunter seekers. Help me out. Oh, wow. They, just, they, they wrecked that dude. It's not even, that's not bad damage either. And it's going out all the time and doing that. It's really not bad. So when I throw it while I'm fadeaway, look, every shot should crit. Oh, it doesn't look like it is see that that's okay because you only really care about the action skill cooldown most of the time when you're outside of combat when you're outside of a uh, fadeaway i mean so very cool very cool that we got this mitosis hunter seeker there is six runs and it is going to be our primary mobbing weapon now as far as the anointment the one i have on it not the absolute best right now it's on when action skill is active gain grenade damage not like the absolute craziest but luckily we have got 2000 iridium let's go see if we can get something good here i did download some mods i have a new mod the red text mod that tells me what things do at least i thought i did yeah shots from rotating circular pattern ricochet you can see i have a little bit more red text so very very cool all right, Earl, what you got for me? And we're going to give him my, our Mitosis Hunter Seeker. And we're going to reroll. I also downloaded an Iridium reroll machine. I don't know if I want to keep it 50 Iridium. It feels kind of dirty and cheap, but grinding Iridium really is rough. Or 50, I think, is fair. I might keep it on 50 forever. Action skill and bonus radiation does make sense. It, it basically makes this thing, it makes this Hunter Seeker a... It 
The radiation one. I think this, I think it's fine. Uh, action skill and radiation. That basically makes it Mitosis Hunter Seeker. Very cool. All right, so I think what we might do is we'll go do a preliminary farm of the the scrap trap using our new mitosis hunter seeker and i can give you guys a little bit of an of an insight into what the next series is going to be if you're around if you stick around here so the next farm is going to be the lucky seven and the lucky seven is a very 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 unique weapon it's probably amongst my favorite weapons in the game right now and how it works is whenever you reload it's a dlc one weapon so you get it from the handsome jackpot how it works is it's a jacob's pistol right a standard J jacob's pistol that and let me go ahead and slap on the grenade that i need to have on for this to work it's a jacob's pistol that whenever you it, it does basic damage a little bit more to the head very nice you go back to the chest a little bit more to the head back to the chest it's just it's very very basic however when you reload it you get a certain amount of buffs so in that case i got number one and i think number four so number one is automatic crit every shot i do will have this amp and it will be a crit boosting my damage up 293 296 everything will always be a crit number and the number five one it makes it splash or sorry the number four one that i rolled it makes it splash damage and i'll show you again the reload reload once i got one three four and five as you saw on the side so we have one we have auto crits we have three which is um elemental so we roll random elements we got four for splash damage and we got uh five which is lucky seven which makes it shoot in a seven projectile pattern oh i'm gonna die no i'm not my pet's here sick so we're shooting it in a seven projectile pattern Right, like lucky number seven, if you if you can see there. It's hard to see because we're right up on top of it, backing up a little. And a number seven pattern. Now, that's broken, okay? It's absolutely broken. And beside, by the way, that's a god roll, the one we just got. But it goes away on your next reload. So you have to have a way to conserve the ammunition, right? So you can get your ammo back. And you can do that in a bunch of ways. The first way is get a Jacob's Company man with Jacob's mag size on it and extra magazine size is really, really nice. The next way is to do terror anointment stuff. So the bounty, the bounty of, oh, the bounty harvest, the bountiful harvest event was an event that Gearbox put out for Halloween time. And then they brought back the event full time. So when you have that event active, you can roll special anointments on your gear. Um, the anointment that you want to find is this one right here. The, on action skill end, apply terror to yourself every three seconds for the next 18 seconds. If you have the bounty harvest um, event activated, you can just vendor farm any grenade. This is just the random grenade, and it is pretty quick farm. And you you also want to find this anointment. While terrified, gain ammo regeneration. The more terror you have, the higher the bonus. So on our action skill end, we, we will be applying terror to ourselves. And then while we're terrified, we get ammo regen. This ammo regen is a lot. I believe it's 5% and then 11% and then 16% because terror stacks three times. So I will show you. I'll activate my action skill. And then I will... And I, when my action skill ends, I will start getting terrified. And again, with, if you read the anointment carefully, it says, on action skill end, apply terror to yourself every three seconds for 18 seconds. So on my action skill end, I will start getting terror stacks. So I'm at one. There's two. I got a little bit deeper green. I, I believe we are at three now. So we're at three right now. And you will see us start going away. So this is how long our tier three terror will last every time we activate our action skill. So this this is giving us back a whole bunch of ammo regen. As I shoot my gun, see how it's just, it just it can't get any lower. No matter how fast I try to shoot it, it's just gonna keep going up. Right? 
Yeah, I can sustain it for a pretty long time. So, we want to keep Terra active as much as possible. That means we have to spam our action skill. So what you could do is just run Flak, or you uh, run Rack Attack, right? If you just run Rack Attack, you can spam out your action skill all the time, right? You keep, in the heat of combat, you can just keep spamming. I want to run it with Fade Away. So how you can do it with Fade Away is pretty simple. This is where the Lucky 7 comes in. Because the Lucky 7 automatically crits, and it crits seven times because of the Lucky 7 pattern, whenever we use our action skill to get our terror started, and we, we, end up, we go through all of our shots, we're, we're getting auto crits, which is giving ammo back to the magazine, and we're still auto critting, our action skill comes back up instantly. Instantly. And I'll show you again. And I actually don't run this version of Fade Away when I run this build. I actually run the three-shot Fade Away. So I don't use Gorillas in the Mist. Instead, I slap on the, the Pet Will Taunt. And I like to slap on Unblinking Eye. And then as long as you hit somebody with your automatic critting Lucky 7, right? Fade Away gone. Fade Away back. Fade Away gone. Fade Away back. Fade Away gone. Fade Away back. It's, it's absolutely busted. Now, you have to be able to maintain the regen. And the reason I reason I say that you, or the reason we can do this is because we, we will not, and we refuse to use the number two bonus on our weapon, the fully auto one. Listen to this. There is no way that we can sustain that fire. Let me get the fire rate back one on again. It's the number two slot. We cannot sustain that. Maybe Moe's can. Maybe somebody else can. But right now, we just rolled Splash this time. So, again, we don't get automatic critical hits. We do get some because of Megavore. But no automatic crits, but we do get Splash. So, again, you sit here and you reload to get the ones you want. I need number one and number five. So, we just got number five. We got Lucky Seven. We're shooting in a seven pattern. Okay, we got two and three. So, we got uh, Fire Rate and Elemental. Okay, lucky number seven. We want at one and seven are the two we need for this build, and we cannot have number two. So we got just got one. We got auto Chris. And the reason it's ricocheting is because Jacob's weapons always ricochet. So there, we just got one and five, which means now the build is fully functional. We don't have splash damage and we don't have elemental, but we have everything we need to make this thing work at full capacity. This build goes absolutely crazy, and I will say that. If you want to be picky with it, you can re-roll, or you can, yeah, you can keep reloading until you get the exact one you want. It does take a little bit of time to get the ones you want. So right now we got zero out of five. Looking for one and five. We got four and five. Splash and lucky seven. Pretty cool. One and seven. There we go. So now we have one that, that works fully functioning, and fully it always crits and it gets us back our action skill. So I go three shot fade away. Go right back into it. Three shot fade away because three shot does more damage and it's always going to crit no matter where you hit them so it's pretty pretty cool so luckily we farm this weapon in the same location that we farm the stack bot class mod which is the highest damage class mod for flak so how stack bot works is this and i will i will get a a normal reload here and terror by the way when you're terrified your guns become super inaccurate and unusable but if you have a weapon or if your weapon weapons are benefiting from being terrified at all like if they have an ammo regen anointment oh did i get did i get all of them no only one shot i'm trying to get one that's pretty simple get lucky seven that's fine. We can track the numbers like this. So, our shots with the stack bot, our shots do increasing damage every time we land a critical hit. So, we land a critical, our next shot will do more. Our next crit will do more. It should, anyway. Oh, but every time we don't crit, every time we don't crit, uh, we lose the effect. So, if we put on three shot fade away, right? Three shot fade away. Shoot once. It was three mil and five mil. Four mil and four mil. Six mil and five mil. So it's doing more and more damage, I believe. Let's see. Three, five, four. 
four, five, back to four. Six. I'm trying to make sure the stack bot is working properly here. I'm not getting more than six mil on any shot. Until they don't score a critical hit. Let me try to get a different roll on my gun here. I'll just use a different gun in general. So we go. Let's rock a. Let's see if a blade fear can just be something simple. 949, 952, 956, 959, 60. So I have my damage is going up and up and up. Looks like it reaches a cap. Looks like it reaches a cap. So I'm at 983 right now. I hit a body shot. I'm back down to 326. So our damage. One twenty five, three hundred and see how the stack pot ramps up our damage. Wow, five K, six K. Holy cow, six to seven K. Okay, now it's working properly. Eight K. Are we gonna hit ten K? Oh my gosh, it really does ramp up. So, not that's our max damage right there nine hundred and eighty three thousand on a base weapon card of twenty five thousand. So, 25,000, that's, it's a 98, so we have to start, if we don't get crits for a short time, we gotta start back over. We ramp it up. Making sure to always hit crits. But, the reason why the Lucky 7 synergizes so well with the stack bot is because the Lucky 7 guaranteed crits if you roll the right anointment. Let's go back. Let's go back to my, my lucky seven here. So if you get the right roll on it, let's do that now. And sometimes it does take a little bit of time to get the one you want. So you do got to set the sidelines for a little bit. It's the price of using one of the most OP guns in the game. All right, so we just got crit. So all of our shots will crit. The first one already at 986. And it's just gonna stack and stack and stack as long as we keep our action skill active. So then we can get terrified. It looks like one mil looks like our highest. With the revolter, we can go a little bit higher. So if we stop, just stop shooting for a second. Our low value. With everything deactivated. Our low value is 969,000. Then we stack it up. Nine hundred and one K looks like is what we're talking about right now. Looks like I missed a shot, so I lose my I lose my stacks. It's just a lot of bonus damage. Oh, I'm uh, I must have reloaded. Yeah, I definitely reloaded. I lost my bonuses. But even so, the more I crit, the more damage I do. So I wait a second. I know my skills could be having an impact here, but not as much as I am seeing overall. Yeah, it's stacking up and up and up. So I want to see if Oh the reload I want to see if This This my toast hunter seeker will shoot jack Oh I need to have the high hunter seeker I want to see this hunter seeker When I throw it Will cancel my stack bot Let's just get a, a clean shot off with my blade fury Or something easy So got one blade fear shot. The second second one does. So it's doing 85, 86, 92, 90. 
93. I wonder if the stack bot is working. What was on that landing crits? Got it. Yeah, yeah. So we just landed a crit. 326k. Let's wait for it to die off. I should probably respect before trying this out, but here we are. 87 on the first shot, no crit. Eighty three, first shot, no crit. Eighty four, eighty five, eighty six. We're stacking up a little bit because we're. Yeah, it's hard to tell because we have so many skill points in. But I want to see if the hunter seeker will get the stack bot up and running. So let's see. How can we figure this out? Let's throw my hunter seeker. Oh, I don't have any grenades on me. What a troll. Anyways, <laughs> let's head to the droughts and actually get a real test. I just took off my all my skill points so i only have a cut i only skills i have right now are from the stack bot and i looked at it and nothing seems like it would affect our testing at all here except for being above half health if i could take that one off that would be great so i've got three skills here there we go let's take no green skill so the first thing we're going to do oh i don't know if i could survive this area without any skills hmm Let's slap on fade away and see if just fade away plus revolter plus light show can get rid of this car for us. Butter no one on one of them. Where's my light show? I must have put them all back in the bank. Wow, that is certainly something. Okay. Okay, activate my action skill. Maybe this will get a kill. Okay, easy. So, let's try something against this skag, okay? Let's get a Blade Fury out. And... We're gonna use this Blade Fury, it's not anointed. Our shield, let's take it off for something that's not as game-breaking. Sure, let's do frozen, uh, frozen this one, yeah, it's fine. I need a hunter seeker that's not that's not anointed like this one is that's good so how are we gonna test this first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot this little skag hope i don't kill it i might end up killing it we're gonna shoot this little skag and see what our base damage is 569 569 okay it's our our base damage is five 69 and what about against a different enemy 569 okay now when we crit once let's go ahead and go into fade away it's not letting me activate my action skill okay there we go i need to i need to delete this guy real quick destroy him there we go Okay, let's see my damage against these guys. Base. 569. Okay, very good. We got a, a base damage value. Next, we're going to go for just one crit. Okay. We got one crit off. Still 569. I need the I need the stack bot to get one. I need I need to get one crit. So I can see my damage. So one crit? 569. What's my next shot do? 584. Let's test that one more time. Get me one crit. One crit for your boy. There, one crit. 569 to 584. Okay, so now we are going to see if the Hunter Seeker misses will cancel out our stack bots. How we're going to do that is simple. simple take one shot make sure that we're on 569 okay i don't have my pet to come save me 569 569 okay good next we're going to throw first we're going to get a crit got a crit throw a grenade so no crits were had by my grenades 
Take one shot. 569. So right there, it canceled it out because of the misses. But we're going to try it a little bit faster next time. Give me one crit. 569, 569. Should be 584. Plus one Grenache. They're shooting. 569. So it does look like the Mitosis Hunter Seeker cancels out Stackbot. Let's try it again. One crit for your lat. There we go. Throw one Mitosis Hunter Seeker. They shoot. I'm back at 569 damage. But if I get a crit, no crit there. Oh, I need to get this. Sick. Okay, so but but if I land a crit, show me the show me a crit. Now I should do 584. Oh, but I missed. I still do 584 though. 569. 569. 69. Hmm, let's go find out. Let's go get some more of these. This guy. This is what it takes to figure out if your build works. 569. Shoot one to miss. 584. Did you see that? The stack bot, when you miss, is supposed to reset your stacks. When they, they gain increased weapon damage until they don't score a crit. This affects stacks. Give me a crit, please. There's a crit. One miss. 584. 569. I will never hit 584 unless I hit a crit. But even if I miss... Out of here. Okay, make sure I don't have anything up. Land a crit. Okay, one miss. 584, 569. You see that? Looks like I get one shot. Is it a shot or is it time? Is it a shot or is it timed? It looks like I get one shot after missing till I get the next damage. Give me a crit, please. Hmm. You're good for a crit, right? Nope. And okay, we're always doing 569 damage to these guys. Until we get a crit. Then we get 584. But when we miss, looks like we get one extra shot. What if we stacked up a couple of these shots? So we go crit, crit, crit. Now what's our damage now? We're back to 569, but it looks like we hit what? It looks like we hit a pretty good number there. I was wondering how much this is stacked this effect stacks up. I need to get my action skill back and then I can test it out. Give me a crit. Yep. Oh I, I got Yeah, it looks like you get one hit after that. After that once even though you miss a shot, you still get one more sh one more chance at it. Alright, action skill me. So the first one should do, oh, what a whiff, 569, 584, 600k. But then we did 569 after. Okay, so it stacks up at least three times. I want to go see how much it stacks up. Let's go back to Sanctuary and see how many times Stackbot can stack up. We can use our action skill to get this done. Um, we can use Topped Off. We can also shoot his head. Yeah, that works. All right, this would be our final test to see if the stack bot works the way we think it does. Okay. One shot at a time. Shoot this dude in the head. And then we will see how much the stack bot actually does. I, 
cannot believe I got the Hunter Seeker in so few runs. Craziness. 36 runs is not bad at all. Okay. Ready, stack bot? 172. 176. There's two. Three stacks. 181. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. We're at twenty. Twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. We're still going. 62. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 101, 101. Nope. It looks like you can stack it up to 100 times. It's 633K is the biggest. The 633K is the biggest. 633. And what's our smallest? Do one miss. You get one shot at 633k. Looks like you're allowed to miss. You're allowed to miss. If I miss, then go back. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Within two seconds, I'm good. Let's get a reload off. I miss. I reload. 633. Okay, what if I miss? I reload and I wait for a while. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. 633. What about a miss? 633. A miss? A 633. Two misses? 633. Three misses? Four misses? Okay, what if I... How do I unstack stack bot? It's guaranteed critical hit. It's guaranteed damage for how long? Forever? So 633, how about... Oh, so if if you can miss your shots, but as long as you hit a target, it stacks. But miss, 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 miss. 195. 209 is the number. 209. 209, 209. And it, it picks back up where it started. Very cool. So as long as I don't hit body shots, then we're fine. So if I use the lucky seven... With ammo regen anoint. And then activate terror on myself, right? Let's see if we can get the auto crit one. No auto crit. Let's reload until we get it. Okay, so we got auto crit. Let's go ahead and use... All of our shots, no matter where we hit them, will crit. So 162 is the number. So it should be like 166, 165. Yeah. So I can miss all the shots in the world, but as long as I hit, well, with this gun, as long as you hit, it's going to be a crit. This is awesome. So 216 is the number. I want to try this Hunter Seeker to see if this Hunter Seeker will cancel out. So 219. So it should be like 223. Hit him. Shoot this guy. Dang, I was hoping they would. It's alright, we're gonna get this. So this that that didn't crit. So it should be 223. 117. 
120. So this should be 123. Come on, Hunter Seekers, you can do this. Hit Jack. No crits. 117. So if, if the Hunter Seeker does not crit, it counts as resetting your stack bot. So if you are going to be using a stack bot, the Hunter Seeker is not the weapon of choice for you. In fact, you don't want a grenade at all that hits enemies. You want a grenade that completely whiffs enemies. So that way it doesn't have a chance to mess up your lucky seven infinite stacking. Which is very, very cool. So I, I'll show you guys this crab trap farm and show you how I do it. And then we'll call a video. I'll see you guys over at the... At, I'll see you guys over in Trash Lantis. Okay, we're here in Trash Lantis and we're going to head over to the scrap trap farm. So I can show you guys a, what exactly we will be doing. In the next episode i did a bunch of respecking and i dropped the entire blue tree out of my skills sorry blue tree but with the actually don't even need the action skill duration which i usually keep for fade away but if we're going to be doing three shot fade away with this pistol then we definitely do not need it okay so we're gonna be farming for a god roll of this gun and a god roll of the stack bot now we definitely want to be taking off our mitosis hunter seeker and for that we just have a random terror generation anoint Excuse me, guys. Don't want to mess with you. Bum, 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 ba -ba -dum, bum, bum. So once once we get to the scrap trap place, we have to re uh, reload until we get the the bonuses that we want. So we will do that right up here. So we shoot, re reload. One and four, not gonna get the job done. One and two, not gonna get the job done. Nope, don't want that splash. Rapid fire and splash, as much as it's very cool, we can't sustain it. We need one and five, and sometimes it can take a while, which is why I do recommend, I do recommend taking all the points in reload speed that you can get in this build. The so second intention and agility training, I take them all, even though once, once combat starts, we will no longer be reloading and it'll be kind of wasted points then we can't actually get into combat until after we reload this thing enough times so i do want one with a faster reload i can get one with more with more damage or same damage but faster reload so that's what i'm going to be going for as well as a, a god tier stack bot okay I'm going to keep going on this, and I will see you guys when I get the rolls I need. We just need one and five. You don't need anything more than that, but however, getting more is always nice. You just can't get two. If I can stick... Actually, if I can stick around, you guys can stick around. One, and one, two, and four is not what we're looking for. There is a price to using this gun. One and four, not quite. We need one and seven, so that way we can get the multi-projectiles and auto crits. Headshots and lucky seven is what we're looking for. Headshots and lucky seven. It does go way fast, but you do get used to it. Once we get this, there's a couple ways. Oh, one and seven. There we go. So we don't get any of the bonuses, any of the extra stuff, but we got one and seven. That's all we're going to need. Let's go. Let's go cleanse some scrap traps. Our shield is going to be the frozen heart. Uh, we could go revolter. Let's go revolter for our first one. Revolter, we have a revolter, a stack bot, a company man, and we do not throw grenades or anything like that. Just because we have auto crits, our stack bot will never, will never drain. So eventually we get enough damage because of our stack bot that we just one shot all these scrap traps. And because we're using a Jacob's gun that crits, we also get ricochets, which is very, very nice. We don't need to enter a fadeaway, but we can enter a fadeaway anytime to get bonus damage. And then we get it back really, really quickly because we're getting seven crits, which gives us back our action skill. Later, kids. There, I'm sure there's faster ways to do this. I, I have a recursion that I can use. But this is the fun way to do it. Okay, Scrap Trap Prime spawns. Let me run up here. Let me just mash it as fast as we can. We would like to get a corrosive um oh let's see the damage on this bad boy it's reloads better than mine but it's damage is worse okay 
So, unfortunately, no God Roll Lucky 7. So, with, what's nice about this farm is that you don't have to reset. I'm sure you guys know this as Borderlands players. This is an EXP, a standard EXP farm, Scrap Trap. So, you can run over here and reset the fight by standing over here, running back. So we reset the farm, but there's another way to reset this farm. So I'll get I'll get through some of it for you guys, or actually I'll clear it one more time for you guys, and show you guys a different way to reset the farm that doesn't involve save quitting. Because if you save quit, if you if you reload this gun, if the animation for the reload begins and you try to cancel it with melee or something, if you swap weapons or if you save quit, you lose the buff. Dying, I don't know about because I've yet to die since getting this. Dying, and I don't really die in flak at all. Um, but besides that, there is nothing that will that will cancel or get rid of your reload, except if you do not upstart applying terror to yourself. So you need to apply terror to yourself using your action skill, and that way you can get the ammo regen. You want to get three stacks of terror. So I think we're on two, and when it starts to really come up your screen a good amount is when you know you're on three stacks of terror. Right here, we're on three stacks of terror. As long as we activate our action skill every once in a while, let it end, we will continue to stack up that, that terror. There's only one other way to generate terror, and it's a, it's a melee damage anointment. So like when you apply melee damage, you uh, generate terror. Let's activate my revolter. Oh, I go down. But when you go down, you don't lose your you don't lose your stacks. There we go. See, a lucky seven with consecutive hits, lower damage. Unfortunately, a lucky set, but see, yeah, this is, this farm is insane. A fadeaway active lucky seven is really, really nice. So, something I can show you guys is that you don't actually need, you don't actually need a, wow, a consecutive hits nuke, that's crazy. So, um, you don't actually need this specific Annoyment on this gun you can get it on a shield But if you get it on a shield you just can't use something with action skill start like a revolter You can get a shield that gets the same anointment while terrified you gain ammo regen So you can use a lucky seven with while fade away active You just won't be getting fade away. You won't be getting a uh, revolt or anything like that I'm looking for one with I think even more damage than I have so let's show you guys one more way to reset this farm and you can do that by Going to your Mayhem menu. Going to Mayhem 10. Clicking Apply. Clicking Mayhem 10 and clicking Apply. And then I personally, I personally like to go back to Mayhem 11 uh, before doing anything else. You don't have to if you can work on Mayhem 10. If you, if you can deal with those modifiers, you can stay right there. I like to go back to Mayhem 11, and when I spawn back in, my Lucky 7 will remain amped. It will remain ready and juiced up. But, and so once you're, once you're here, all you have to do is run this direction, and the Scrap Trap drop downs right here. Again, if you, you can keep re-rolling this thing, and if the Corrosive Element is probably what we're going to want in order to fight this boss, um, more, I would say... Uh, efficiently now if it doesn't farm if it doesn't spawn that's fine you can you can try to reset the farm back there but what's nice is uh resetting the map with via mayhem it cleans out this area so then that, that music starts makes me think that i can fight this grab trap now no not quite okay so you can run back here and now that all the legendaries and stuff are up, up off the ground i can actually see what it is i'm doing okay and let's make sure that we have our Jacob's company man. Okay, everything is in its proper place. There we go, scrap trap nest. Let's get our, we wanna make sure that our ammo regen starts up right away. Let our stack bot start going. And we just start one-shotting these guys with our lucky seven. And this is a lucky seven without splash, without rolling element, just a re regular lucky seven. That got, I got crit and uh, seven projectiles. That's all you need on flak. And you don't want fully auto. You can use fully auto. I think it's way harder, way more stressful. Um, but sometimes, you know, you get. I, I've gotten like all five rolls. It's like I gotta use it. So, 
this really isn't a bad farm and you can we're gonna be farming vault card xp while we're doing this too we just gotta remember not to use our, our hunter secret and make sure that remember to keep using reaction skill we get it back so quickly okay shoot that barrel activate your vaulter Ma fan that hammer brother fan that hammer there we go so we got a 50 percent chance to, to farm the one we're looking for but it's anointment's going to be very very tricky to get yeah that's going to be that then our next farm anyways thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one the mitosis hunter seeker has been collected very nice so when we chuck it spawns three grenades that I track down and get us back our action skill faster. Very, very nice. Anyways, I'll see you all next one. Bye!